This segment is brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back to Farm Factor and the Kansas Soybean Update. This is the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Jen Galloway, Director of Competitions with the Kansas State Fair, joins us. And Jen, as the date gets closer to this year's Kansas State Fair, we're also coming up on deadlines to submit entries. And that includes the Kansas Soybean Commission's sponsored soybean plant show at this year's fair. Yes, the deadline for entry in that division is August 15th. And these can be done either online at the kansasstatefair.com website or by a paper entry. And if an exhibitor needs any help entering, they just need to call the competitions department here at the Kansas State Fair. For the producers who would like to enter or are interested in entering the contest by that August 15th deadline, what do the producers need to provide for the contest? They need to bring in up to three entries. And if they have three, they each have to be from a different variety. And in these entries, they require five Five plants per entry. They suggest to dig up at least eight to ten plants when you're doing it so you have a variety to choose from and they'll want to wash off the roots of the plants and they will want to make sure that they're in good condition. Once the plants are dried they're going to loosely tie them together at the base of the plant at the root system and then layer them in newspaper to bring to the fair. When it is judged what will the judges be looking for? Mostly they're looking for a more mature plant that's taller with most pods and definitely free from insect damage and disease. No off color in the leaves and the plants are uniform pod size and fill. When will the judging take place for the soybean plant show? They do the judging the first day of the fair, which is Friday, September 6th, and that way they have the results posted for people that are coming through to look at the exhibits and they can see who got first, second, third, and so on. And this has been a growing competition that the Kansas Soybean Commission sponsors. Yes, and we're able to offer some pretty good premium. We have first place at $30, second place at $25, third at $20, and fourth at $15, and fifth at $10. And then the champion soybean plant in each division will receive $100. If people are interested in entering, you have to do that by August 15th. They can go to the Kansas State Fair website? Correct. They can get more information from there, and then if they have any further questions, they can contact us here at the Kansas State Fair in the competitions department. And that is at kansasstatefair.com. Jen, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is Jen Galloway, Director of Competitions with the Kansas State Fair, who joins us on the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Learn more at kansassoybeans.org. For Kansas Soybeans, I'm Greg Akagi. Thanks for tuning in this morning to Farm Factor. Stay with us after the break for more with Kyle Bauer and Kelly Payne. What if sustainability were synonymous with U.S. soy? If energy efficiency, water quality, and soil health help define U.S. soy's value, that future is here, the time is now. To meet end-user demands, the Soybean Checkoff is committing to sustainability that's achievable, worthwhile, and enduring. A message from the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. Imagine turning soybean oil, used cooking oils, and waste animal fats into fuel so amazing it drives U.S. jobs and our economy forward. Learn more about biodiesel at americasadvancedbiofuel.com.